Hello, welcome to Ruth and Belinda. I am Belinda of the Ruth and Belinda Experience. Um, welcome, good to see you here. Just talking through some of our designs so it gives you an idea of how we construct them and that they're not that difficult because I think people actually feel very put off by pattern cards or instructions because they just go, oh, they're just so complicated. Not at all for us. Here we go. This is called the Magnolia Necktie. It was one of the first, it was, not one of them, it was the first thing that Ruth and I designed together under the Ruth umbrella, Ruth and Belinda. The Magnolia Necktie was the first design Ruth and I um, developed under the Ruth and Belinda umbrella. And it's called the Magnolia Necktie because Ruth has the most beautiful garden and she has, just outside the warehouse storeroom, studio space, depot department, it's very, very big, and just outside it has the most gorgeous magnolia tree. And we were sitting there talking about designs and, as you do, and, you know, world domination and Pinky and the Brain and how we're going to take over the world and, you know, all sorts of things. And we looked out the window and there was a magnolia tree. And very, very beautiful. Anyway, so she has developed, a, developed one and designed one. And have a look. Um, it'll probably be there or, or there or there or there. So just go and check it out where it is. And it's, it's hers is the kind of classic one. And mine is the one that's got the flair. Signature, little signature of mine. So here you go, very peasy squeezy. Takes one hank of silky. Um, this is being dyed as we speak. It's going to be in chocolate in charcoal and in honey, it's very nice, and it's going to be absolutely delicious. If you can see, I don't know, you can't, you can't feel it if you put your hand through and have a little, it is just incredibly soft. So here we go, this is a magnolia necktie, and it is a necktie, and it just sits like that rather nicely underneath your coat. Or you can put a shawl pin and just make it like this, put a shawl pin and let it sit like that. Can you see? There I'll stand on my tippy toes. I'm five foot. Did you know that? So is Marilyn Monroe and Kylie Minogue. So I'm in good company. What do you think? That was good. Okay, so enough of this. Back to this. This is You Are Daring. Knit three, pearl three, knit three, pearl three, knit three, pearl three, knit three, pearl three, and so on and so on. So basic rib. On the way back, you're doing pearl two, pearl three. Apologies. Apologies. You're doing this and you're doing rib. So what you're doing is you're purling knit, purl, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, all the way along. So that's how you do that. Then you get to this little cheeky thing called the flare. Let me see. Looks a bit like um doors to old buildings, don't you think? I thought so too. Quite kind of like um architecture, you know, conclaves, churches, synagogues, Muslim temples, um, synagogues, churches. Uh, temples, mosques, yeah, enough. So this is this, and, and what you do here, as you can see, not terribly hard, you're doing knit two, purl two, yarn over. A yarn over is when you bring the yarn, it's at the back, because you've just, is it at the back? Let me just think, hold on a second. You have just done a purl. So, just the purl, so the yarn is at the front. So what you need to do is you need to put it over, over the needle, but not knit it, okay? And then you knit, if I think that's right, you knit two, yarn over, purl two, knit two, purl two, yarn over, knit two, yarn over, purl two, knit two, purl two, yarn over, keep going till you get to the end. Now what you've done with those yarn overs, you've made stitches. Does that make sense? So now you've got to eat them up, because the idea is that it's got to grow. You've made two stitches out of those holes. There they are. So what you do on the way back, you, you then work those stitches. As you can see, these are the two holes that you just made. But there'll be stitches there. There'll be those loops. So what you do is you purl them. So if you've got two, you now have four, because you'll have the hole plus two plus the hole, so you've got four. So you keep going, four, and then you've got, then you knit, and you do the yarn overs again, either side, so you've got yarn over, knit four, yarn over, and then when you go back, you'll have six, and then you yarn over, six, yarn over, and then on the way you'll have eight, and ten, and twelve, and fourteen, and sixteen, and eighteen, and twenty, and voila, you finished. 
and you will cast off please loosely that'd be great because you don't want this to be too tight if you do cast off loosely and um, that's fine that's great if you think that it, you, it looks a little tight undo it and do it again but do it perhaps more relaxed way um, or go up a needle size easy trick not terribly difficult go and do that so that's how you make this magnolia necktie the one with the flare there it is, it takes one lot of silky to knit it, which is 80% alpaca, 20% silk. Just sits nicely under your coat um, and only takes one hank. So that's rather nice and fun. And you can tie it with one of our shawl pins, which um, you can buy on, if you look down the navigation bar, it says needles and pins down there. And um, it's at the bottom of all the Addy needles, which we also sell. So you can have a look at that. Um, in the lovely, lovely cases with a wonderful kind of reassuring magnet click. And the needles are lovely too, of course. Um, in a black leather wallet, um, the lace ones are in a brown one, and then the bamboo ones are in a rather jazzy, kind of Italian, funky lime green. How, check it out, there's lovely Addy needles, we use them all the time, Ruth and I. Um, just a pleasure to knit with and the only thing you would ever need are those very very big needles if you're using very very chunky yarn or if you're knitting a carpet and also very very small double pointed needles we obviously think for socks and hats and all those sort of things and, and you know gloves um, you will need double pointed needles um, otherwise or for starting shawls those sort of things but otherwise um, you will just need your wonderful Addy click set and they're rather fun. You have these, they're, they're, they're hollow inside and they're chrome plated and they're just, they're light and you just click. Um, they're like a bayonet fitting. It just feels, and it clicks in and it's very smooth and you don't get your stitches. Um, and you've got millions, not millions. When do you ever knit with millions of stitches? I suppose if you had a lace pattern, you could. Okay, that's tautology, a slight exaggeration there, but I will stay with, um, yeah, if you, if you, uh, you know, if you if you have a lot of stitches, um, there's nothing worse than them all falling off. Nightmare to pick up. Lace lace patterns are just oh, it's all those yarn overs and oh my gosh. Ah. So don't don't use don't yeah you use something that actually is smooth and and is lovely to knit with. Look at the Addy the Addy Addy click sets, which are great. Uh, Seventy five pounds. Very good. And um, back to this, which is, yeah, shawl pins, mango shawl pins, um, lots of <laughs> lots of juicy mangoes have been eaten um, to make that, those are rather lovely shawl pins. We have square ones and oval ones, and we also have hearts, which are rather nice, hearts, we also have hearts, which are rather lovely, and um, we also have rosewood ones, and they are square and oval and hearts so please do um go and have a look and they just look stunning on our cream um hand knit designs so please check that out magnolia tector super have fun knitting it over and out